Hello everybody! Uh, today, I want to show some of the Sagittarius the Star records that I picked up. Um, a few, a few, I don't know, maybe a month ago, a couple weeks back, uh, Van, Mr. Seco Funk, had showed uh, his collection of Sagittarius Star, which was started by the same guy who did uh, the Cubico label. And I know of the Cubico label, but I did not know of Sagittarius Star, so I was like, oh, this is cool. So I go on the website, check it up afterwards, and, you know, wrote the guy and said, hey, this is really cool, you know, could you tell me what you have available? And he wrote back and said, these, these are available, and I said, great, how much for all of them? <laughs> so, uh, I picked up uh, six, I do believe. But, the first one, you hear a jamming in the background. Probably my favorite. This, this is the first song. I don't even know what it's called either because none of them ever have like a listing of songs, but whatever. <laughs> the, it's uh, Synchron with uh, Farouk Zibe on saxophone, Ron English on guitar, Keith Vreeland, piano keyboard, John Dana on acoustic electric bass, and Leonard King on drums. It says recorded in the late 80s. <laughs> so it was, it was an album that they recorded but never actually released. Just absolutely damn good. You could almost, you could almost say it's a fusion of rock and jazz. Kinda, but just listen. I love Farouk Zibay. I love his, his sax playing. The way that he'll he'll get those squeaks and those squalls out of it. I just love that. But first one picked up. The other two going along with Farouk Zibay, I picked up two others. Uh, one is Farouk Zibay with Northwoods Improvisers, uh, Primal Waters. Uh, recorded live somewhere. I can't remember where. Does it say? <laughs> it doesn't say. <laughs> Just a little postcard. They all come with something inside. But this one doesn't say. And all the labels are very plain. I mean, you got A, and then the B side's just black. But very cool. It, it's, it's, how do I describe it? It's good, sort of, slightly avant, all acoustic jazz. Just damn good. Damn good. Again, you know, I, I love his sax playing, so. And the other one is a 4ET, Farouk Zibay, with a really cool cover. And this one is also live recording at the Detroit Art Space. This one is damn good, damn good. Oh, the, the first, uh, the first side, it's not broken up into songs, it's just all one thing. And like halfway through it, it gets with this beat along with like the, the Fender Rhodes. And it just, oh, it's so kick-ass. It's reminiscent of this. Not the same thing at all, but the same flavor. Really damn good. Really enjoyed that one. The next one I got is the uh, Trulufu, or Trulufa Trio. I, I can't remember. I gotta get it out. <laughs> if I can, it's stuck in there. There we go. Uh, yes, Trulufa Trio. And we got Nikolai Bricks uh, Vart Vartenberg on tenor sax, flutes, and recorders. John Darby Nielsen, uh, Nay flutes, recorders, percussion, and chant. And Magnus Olsen uh, Ma Ma Maman? Maman, drums, uh, daft, and percussion. This record, oh, double record, by the way. There's, there's two stuff in there. This record, with the recorders, it, it it almost has this childlike feel, like like it, it's you know like you're playing in class, 
it might just be me because you know when I was in elementary school they made us all learn to play the recorder but I didn't really like it but you know whatever uh, it, but at the same time when the recorders aren't playing and the sax is going or the flute is going they're just ripping it up it is fantastic uh, it sounds to me like home recordings not the best recording quality but I mean just damn good the the I do believe it's the first song on the seaside the 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 sax for playing is just utterly phenomenal on that song but again I don't know what it's called because there's no track listing so sorry <laughs> but, uh, the next one is the pink luminous incubation this one is a little different from the others in the sense that it's not exactly jazz. It's this sort of this ambient uh, drone soundscape. It's very, very pretty. They, 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 they use like voice box, so there's like chanting and synth in there, just utterly beautiful. Uh, on this one, you have. Uh, Marie D. Jensen on vocal synth music box, Mark Kellaway on bells, vocals, violins, toy keyboard, guitar, tin flute, and music box, and uh, Magnus O. Mahan. Oh, oh, same guy from this. I didn't even realize that till now. Uh, Magnus O. Mahan, Mahman, 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 I don't know. Bells, <laughs> vocals, Kalimba, Zerna, and clarinet. And Tanha, Tan, Tanya, Tanya, V. Jensen, Absence. Absence? <laughs> Absence. Uh, okay. Uh, whatever. Uh, this one is very pretty. Very, very pretty. Just like the name would think, Pink Luminous Incubation. You, you, it, it, it has this, this feel just from the name, this this ambience, <laughs> you know? And and that's what it actually sounds like. Killer record. Good good listening if you just want to chill out and drop the needle on something. Not doesn't really need to like you don't have to absorb it. You just sit there and just listen. It's phenomenal. Last one I picked up was a box set. And this is the uh, West African Tour box set. They had uh, uh, the first 26 of all these records, which I didn't get any, but the first 26 are very elaborately done. You know, they'll come in colored vinyl or splatter. Uh, you know, they'll come in really nice sets. Really cool, like, self-painted, hand-drawn covers. But the, the box set for this, it's just, it's in a cardboard sleeve. It's, it's really not that fancy. But the actual 26 box set, you see pictures of them. They are gorgeous. They're like wrapped in like in like leather or some kind of, you know, cloth <laughs> material with like all this beautiful hand-stitched binding. And they come with this like, uh, it, it'll be like this African, you know, wood mask or doll or beads. It's just blows my mind. It was like, wow, I would have loved to get one of those, but you know, alas, uh, I was not quite so lucky. But I did end up with the box set, which is the music itself, which is damn good. Damn good. Comes with a very nice uh, long explanation of the tour. Kind of like with, with saying all the different stops they were at where they went, like uh, Sierra Leone and uh, uh, Liberia and uh, Guinea, I believe. Yeah, Guinea. Uh, who do we have playing on this? You have Hartmut uh, Grierken, uh, Fumudu, Fumudu, Fumudau, Don Moye, and John Chiachi. Chiachi. I think that's how you pronounce those. I'm sorry, you see it right there. <laughs> I just murdering these names, I'm sorry, and the but really good, uh, again, it, it's a live recording, so 
The sound quality isn't the best, but it was actually recorded on like a Sony Walkman. So when you think of that, well, it actually is pretty good recording quality, so considering how it was recorded, but uh, side A, the the first like half of it is just this phenomenal drum solo, just totally kick ass. But there's A, B, side C, you got like a crocodile. Side A, B, C, D, E, you got like a little gnome figure. And side F, you have what looks like a bra. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Looks like a bra to me. <laughs> so, uh, just damn good uh, uh, live jazz recordings. Uh, since they're in Africa, they, they have a bit of that, you know, African world feel to them. But not necessarily, you know. Really cool pickups from a label that I would not have known otherwise if not for uh, the wonderful band. <laughs> Mr. Seco Funk. I love that name, man. Seco Funk. Secretary of Funk. Love that name. Uh, I couldn't steal it though. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, lo I love some funk, but I ain't no secretary on it. <laughs> so, uh, Van, uh, thank you very much for uh, making me aware of the label and some really damn good jazz music because that is what I love. So, hope you all enjoyed. Till next time. <laughs>